The Groin Deer team enjoys taking kids hunting. Mentoring a kid through the hunting experience is a great way to show them the wonders of creation. Next up, we have Chase White hunting with his seven-year-old son, Rylan, in Texas County, Missouri. Well, it's the day before youth season here in Southern Missouri. I'm having him shoot off the field pod. You ask why I don't use a sled? Well, the reason being is this is what he's gonna be using out in the field and I want him to get used to it. So we're gonna take a couple shots here and get ready to go for tomorrow. It wasn't too far from where Ryland tagged his first deer last year. You trailed it right where you went. After tagging a doe last year, he had his sights set on getting a buck this year. It's October 29th, and we're hunting in the evening. We didn't get anything this morning, and so we're gonna try to um, get one this night. It's October um, 30th, and yesterday we didn't get one, so we're gonna try to get one this morning. It's October 20th. It's October 30th, second day of year season. Yesterday we didn't get one, and we didn't get one this morning. We're gonna try to get one tonight. Youth season in Southern Missouri was tough this year. Warm days and cool nights kept most of deer nocturnal. About the only thing they saw was turkeys. Soon, regular gun season arrived, and Chase took Ryland to an area he knew bucks liked to cruise. They found a good spot to set up on the ground and set up the Caldwell field pod. Well, it's the evening of November 15th. I'm out with my son, Ryland. I think he's got the brown, it's down theory. He says that he's gonna try to shoot a gold out for a good buck. We'll see what happens. I'm just hoping that we see some deer. It's really warm. 75 degrees on November 15th here in Southern Missouri. It's tough, the deer movement's slow. It's getting close to dark now. We're late getting in here, but the deer ain't gonna move till late. We're just hoping we see something. It wasn't very long till the first small buck arrived. This was going to be a close encounter. Ryland was hoping for a six pointer or better and it was all he could do to let this left sided buck stare him down while controlling his trigger finger. Even as a seasoned hunter, encounters that close get my blood pumping. Finally, the buck with the left side of his rack walks off and wouldn't you know it, one with only the right side comes in. At this point, seeing these bucks up close is a little much for Ryland to handle. He lets a Winchester Deer Season XP fly. He's only seven years old. I'm proud of him. We're gonna, I heard a fall down here. We're gonna go down here and take a look at it. He can't take it anymore. Let's go see what he got. Bucks is that for you? One. One? <laughs> awesome. Oh, 
awesome. He didn't run very far at all, did he? <laughs> no, but it'll be hard to drag him out because we're in a valley. Yeah. Another spike walk by with one horn. It was kind of like this one. And then this one came out um, up the hill. And then um, I shot him and we waited there for a minute and we had to come down here and trail him. Awesome, dude. What a great shot, Ryland, and a good tracking job, too. Congratulations to Ryland and Chase for showing us a great hunt.